Hello, so I wanted to record a short video, uh, mainly for the expat community in Costa Rica, English speaking. Um, today is, by the way, our Independence Day in Costa Rica. It's 15th of September, 203 years of independence in Costa Rica. So if you hear in the background some drums and stuff, it's because today is a national holiday. Uh, <clears throat> but I wanted to talk to you about this code. <clears throat> this is the Family Process Code, which will come into effect this year, 2024, on October 1st. Now, this brings about some significant changes in the way that our uh, family processes will work. Most importantly, we, we're changing, we're, we're transitioning from a written process, mainly written process, to a mainly oral process. And what that means is that depending on the type of processes, process when you get notified of a lawsuit in family matters you have anywhere from five to 30 days depending on the type of lawsuit to respond but normally you do that in writing you hire a lawyer and they, they you sit down with the lawyer and explain go fact by alleged fact by alleged fact answering each of those facts and then making a request regarding the the, the, the lawsuits so this is all going to change because now the answer to the lawsuit will be done orally. So this approach is more like the U.S. system. Uh, as far as I know, I lived in the U.S. for like 10 years. I didn't have much to do with the legal system, uh, except I wanted to become a translator there, so I started to uh, look into it. But uh, and, and in college, I took a couple of courses about U.S. law and constitution, things like that. But but the actual way that the, that the, that the courts, that the, that a trial works, I think it's gonna resemble more uh, like the US because in the US there's, there's this tendency to have things done orally. So that's where we're heading. The hope is, this is the code again, you can find this in uh, legal bookstores like um, the UCR, University of Costa Rica, at uh, the, the, the Bar Association, Colegio de Abogados in San Jose, at the National Registry, uh, Huri Centro is a big, uh, big one. So make sure to find this code. Uh, you may have it as a reference. Uh, and also make sure that when you have a legal problem involving family matters, that you hire a lawyer with experience. It's very important. Uh, family law requires experience, requires knowledge in a very sensitive field. And now even more with this new uh, process code. Things are gonna change big time. So be prepared for that, hopefully for the best, for the better. Um, but we'll see, we'll see over time. Some, in some uh, cases where orality has been introduced, like uh, labor law uh, and some other fields, in the very beginning stages, there, you, you see that the that processes tend to speed up. But then as you uh, progress, then the agendas of the, of the courts get filled up and then you have to wait a long time for a hearing. That's the, that's the problem. That's what some people are foreseeing that might happen also with this family uh, process code because we have a lot of cases. Like family courts are really, really saturated with cases. There will be a transition to this new code and hopefully the uh, speeding up of, of processes will not be just a temporary thing and it'll be maintained over time, but that's gonna require lots of work from everybody involved. Thank you very much.